So, today I'll be doing a video on a DIY Brazilian blowout. I am super excited to do this video for you guys because I haven't had a Brazilian blowout done on my hair in so long and it is definitely in need. This is my hair naturally. Um, I had washed it last night and then I put it in a bun all day and then afterwards I kind of slept on it and this is pretty much what I woke up with if you can see that. So, that is my hair. Super wavy, curly, kind of wolf you know loose curls or just loose waves whatever you want to call it the Brazilian blow up makes my hair super straight and I love it because it cuts my styling time more than in half and I love it I'll be using the Brazilian blowout keratin treatment so the first thing I'm gonna go ahead and do is shampoo my hair like three or four times maybe five times to get it squeaky clean with their clarifying shampoo it's their shampoo which is really good a really good like clarifying one um, it's the SIA professional anti-residue shampoo with which is a deep cleansing formula okay so I just finished purifying my hair my hair is now squeaky squeaky clean I washed it three or four times with a purifying shampoo you're gonna need to comb to comb out your hair or I'm gonna need to comb to comb out my hair because it gets really tangled after purifying your hair so I got this wide tooth comb and then afterwards I'm gonna section out my hair with my butterfly clips here and then I'll be pouring my solution into my bowl Put in my gloves because you have to wear gloves when doing this. Make sure my room has ventilation so I'm going to have my windows open, have the fan on, and then I'm going to take my new tint brush which I just got here. This has a application brush on top. It has the comb connected to it and it has a little um, rat tail comb thingy pick there so I can section out the hair. It kind of has a three in one effect so it's kind of cool and I'll be using that. Alright, so I've sectioned up one side of my hair after I combed it out, and this is the section I'll be working on. Basically, I'll be taking small sections, um, I'll pin up my whole hair except for a small section down here, and then I'll apply it down um, on my hair, basically like an, half an inch to an inch away from my roots, and then I'm going to comb it through so it gets evenly on my whole entire strand of hair, and then I'll be doing the next section. You don't have to saturate it, you just have to make sure there's enough on there, just not fully saturate it like you're doing hair color, or else... It will take forever to dry. There's just no need for it. So a little goes a long way, and I'll show you guys the process now. Okay, so I just finished blow drying all the solution because I already applied it all. It just took forever. And then I blow dried it, which took forever as well, and now I'm about to straighten it. Yay! All right, so I have completed my Brazilian blow on my hair. It took forever, and I couldn't even literally, like, I literally could not record the whole entire process. It was just way too much. So this is my hair afterwards, after the keratin treatment has been inputted and sealed with my flat iron into my hair. So as you can see, my hair is literally super flat compared to earlier. And it's super, 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 let me see if I can zoom in, um, smooth and shiny. And I'll show you the back too. That's the back. Nice and shiny. And that is how you do the keratin treatment. Basically, um, you you really, really wash your hair with purifying shampoo like three to five times, depending how the shampoo works, I guess. Um, I washed it about four times to get it literally like squeaky clean. And then afterwards, you would apply the serum. I'm sorry, you would apply the solution. And then next, you would blow dry after you're done applying the solution completely dry. And then you flat iron in little small sections and you go over, over it like between. You go over each section about three to seven times to really seal it in. Some people say to just do it once, but I feel like that's like a scam. I feel like they're doing that so that it doesn't last as long so they can go back to their stylist, you know? So um, three to seven times I think is the best way to do it if you're doing it on yourself or to your stylist or whatever. And then you should have really nice silky results like this. I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys and don't forget to subscribe and like. Bye guys.